Hi, my little friends. I am Pastor Kalina with your story time. Last Sunday was uh, the last day of October. Does any of you remember uh, any fun event that you did last Sunday? Oh, yes, you are correct. Last Sunday was Halloween Day. And you know that our churches, um, the director of our children's program and also the teachers, uh, Sunday school teachers, uh, plan a, a safe uh, Halloween uh, events for uh, two days, uh, one on Saturday and one on Sunday for the children of the church. And I hope that many of you were able to attend uh, but uh, those of you who are listening and you were able to go to a Halloween day, wasn't that fun? It is a fun event. Um, and what I love uh, Halloween myself because it is a day where I can choose to wear a costume that I want to wear. Um, you always want it to be a pumpkin and then I wore a pumpkin costume one one Halloween um, and there are this year I wanted to be a pin queen but I could not find a pin queen a costume that can fit me so I came as I am just wearing what I I, I, I thought I will just go for the treat and the other reason why I like Halloween is because of the many treats that I got and I'm sure that probably that's what uh, you you like, all right? Um, oh, you wore a princess costume? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Uh, was your parents with you? Oh yeah, Ma they wore a costume too? Wonderful, mama's a witch and dad was a dinosaur? Oh my gosh, they, that must have been so much fun. Um, yes, and you know, there were so many uh, kids there who were wearing different kinds of costumes. One, um, two little kids were birds. One little was a blue bird and one was a uh, green bird. And that was to me the most, you know, uh, beautiful i have never seen this costume before um and they i heard they were made by their grandma that was very special then i saw a little two little dogs were there uh one little dog wore blue because that's his favorite color i didn't know that pets had favorite color and the other dog wore a hot dog costume Oh, that was so much fun. Um, yes. And did you get many treats? What kind of treats did you, uh, did you get? Candies? Yes, yes. Oh, you got pencils too? Uh-huh. All right. Some of you have stickers. I got a pumpkin sticker myself. All right, so you got a lot of treats. I got my favorite M&Ms, the peanut M&Ms. That's my favorite and I took some plenty home. Uh, it was a beautiful party because there were two parties, one on Saturday over at First Salem and the other one was, over, uh, was on Sunday over at Morningside and there were trunk or treat, which means that all the cars, there were cars lined up and their trunk open and their trunk is, is decorated with treats and all, you know, uh, Halloween uh, decorations, pumpkins and all those uh, beautiful decorations and even music. It was a wonderful event. I really enjoy it. Um, but I just wanted to um, ask you, does any of you know what Halloween means, the word Halloween? You know, because it sounds like it is a, sort of like a, a, a weird and festive um, 
event for everybody, for the family to, um, to enjoy. But the word Halloween comes, it's uh, come from two words. One is hallow and the other one is in. Hallow means holy and in is evening. So it's the evening of the holy. It's just like a Christmas Eve. Evening of Christmas. Uh, Halloween is the evening of the holy uh, because the next day, which is the 1st of November, uh, is celebrated as the All Saints Day. It's the All Holy Saints Day. Uh, so that's a very special day. Um, so what's so what I love about the Halloween day is that uh, you are able to choose whatever costume you want to wear. You, uh, you can be whoever you want to be. It's just one day of the year that you can dress yourself up in a person that you like to be or dream to be about. Uh, but then, you know, after that, when you take off your costume, when you take off your costume, you know, that you are, you are back to who you are. Um, that before God, we are his children. We are holy. You are a holy child of God. And I want you to remember that on Halloween day, you can do your will. You can choose whatever you want to wear and you wear that. But then, you know, the next day you're, you're off your costume and you are a little child. You are who you are, a little child, holy in the sight of God. And the next day will be the All Saints Day, which is a holy day. Um, and then you are, as a holy child of God, you are open and ask God that you now have done your will and you wear whatever you want to be uh, on Halloween day. But this holy day, you want to do God's will. And God's will for us is to love one another. God wants us to be compassionate, not to be bullies, uh, and to be friendly and uh, welcoming uh, and giving and like to share. Those are things that God wants us to uh, practice every day as we grow up to be a bigger child and a bigger person. So that's, you know, what Halloween, um, Halloween's message that I want to bring to you is that Halloween day is a day that you do your will and you got a treat uh, for doing your will uh, and you got a treat and you choose your treats. Um, and then on the next day, it's all holy day. You took off uh, your will, whatever you are, your costume, and you are back to who you are. In the sight of God, uh, you are back to little John, little Mary, um, and in the sight of God, you are a holy child of God. And uh, and you now, you do God's will. Your Sunday school teachers uh, will tell you more about the will of God, and also your parents will share more about the will of God. But please join me uh, in prayer. Let us pray. Most holy God, let every Halloween day remind these children that you gave them free will. And they can be what uh, they want to be. And also know that when you take off their costume, their will, they are who they are in your sight, holy children, ready to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.